Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, as you can see, the bullish trend has continued now for the Australian dollar for six consecutive days. With the levels taken out at 64.40.45 and at 64.90 has given me a neutral outlook. However, I'm waiting for opportunity because I feel the market will eventually find it at a point that it will find a rejection level because we are getting extremely overbought, as you can see here from previously. And the MACD is showing a little bit of bearish divergence. And therefore, I do anticipate that we should see a rejection close towards 65.80 to 66.10. But still allowing a little bit more room and let the bulls carry on in their way to see themselves presently lock themselves in a trap and see the market reverse. The other aspect, as I did say I was neutral, is I'm looking for a break of the trend line, which is seen around 64.15.30. If that's the case, then it would reinstate the downside to 62.30.50. So for now, I would just rather sit out and wait for better opportunities to take on board the risk appetite for the trade. Well, the euro took a stab to the upside, but the dollar index still remains weak. Later today, we got coming uh, is the US gross domestic uh, product, which is the GDP, which is latest tonight at 10.30. And then tomorrow we have a couple of events. Firstly is the US Federal Reserve interest rate decision, uh, which is expected to stay on hold. And also we have the European Central Bank monetary policy and interest rate decision, which is widely expected to also keep their rates on hold. The US dollar index, which measures the green back strength against a basket of six major currencies, continues to show a bearish buyance. And therefore, from, since the rejection of 101, the target is now close to around 98 80 as it trades at the moment at 99.70. So still a little bit more left to the downside and a bit more room left to the upside for the euro. I'm at continuing to hold the call for a bullish stance at the moment since the rejection of 107.35 and therefore looking towards the region of 108.75 to 109.2025 and maybe even extending to 109.85 to 95. To turn this view around, I would like to see a break of 107.80, as this would reinstate the downside towards the region of 107.35 to 106.70.80. Moving on to dollar yen, it looks like the bears have finally come out of hibernation, with the market taking on the challenge towards 106.60, and at this point weakened it, as we are 10 points lower, as I'm looking further to the downside and re to the region of 106.35 to 105.80 and lower to 105 figure 40 and reassess from there. From the ADX trending, RSI and MACD married does support my bearish case. But after breaking the level of 123.70, the market returned quite strongly. And at this point, given me a neutral stance due to the break of 124.45. Therefore, I do anticipate the market may squeeze a little bit higher, but looking towards the region close to around 126, 25, 35, where I believe this cap comes in here. If we see a rejection from there, could reinstate the bear case, and therefore looking for a better opportunities due to the fact that the technical system make these flat, but the ADX is still trending and the RSI is still posing a bit more threat. So let's see how it plays in the next 24 hours. If you're trading dollar CAD, well, as you can see, it, it broke down further overnight. It is weighted to the US dollar index around 9.1%, and from the break of 139.90, has exposed the region of 138 to, uh, down to 136. The bears are still pretty much in check, and I feel that we are looking further to the downside. The sell off in gold overnight, well, paused at 1,688.92. That was a key level. After inking a low of 89, the market staged a significant rebound, but not enough to turn me. I feel the market could challenge this level again. So do be on your guard and be aware that if it breaks 88, the next target is around 1,640. If we maintain above 1,688, then that could give some hope and see a turnaround, but there's no 
80x or trend to give that strength to the rally of 1,700 to 50 area where we've recently seen. However, the risk appetite is still a little bit uncertain when it comes to safe haven demand. So I, I would still feel one more test down is on the cards. Very mixed reaction on oil overnight, and there's still a lot of work to do to the upside. And due to the fact from the technical technical assessment, it is presently hard to set any uh, levels due to the current environment of being so whipsawed. So I'd rather for the moment hold to a neutral position. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intro report. Hope you enjoy the great start to this new day.